Hi there, my name is Lisa Casey, and here is a quick introduction to your Chromebook. So here are a few tips on how to use this new tool. So the first thing we have to remember is to charge our Chromebooks. So you can see here where the charger connects to the Chromebook in that upper left corner, and it plugs right into the wall up here, and we can charge that while we're using it, or we can charge it when it's not in use. Just as long as we keep that charge uh, full or ready to go for our school days. Over here, once we open up our computers, you can see that here is the power button. So this is how you turn it on and off. So you can find that right up here in that corner. And once we turn it on, we have to connect it to the internet. So in the bottom right corner, you should see a symbol that looks like this, which is our Wi-Fi symbol. And if you click here, you can see that we are currently not connected to any internet. So if we click this little button, this little arrow right here, we should be prompted with this screen, which is a list of different ways to connect to the internet. If you are at home and using your home internet, you're going to look for that uh, network and connect that way. Or if you're using a Bremerton hotspot, you're going to look for BSD hotspot. So this is what we're looking for. So you can go ahead and click on this. And once you do, this screen pops up. And now we're prompted to enter a password. So the network name is BSD hotspot. And the password is BSD at 2020. So you can type that password in right here. If you click this I button, it makes it visible so you can see what you're typing. And then once you have that network selected and you have your password typed in, you can click this connect button and that should connect you to the internet. Once we do that, we can log into our computers. So you are going to click here, sign in with a different account. So once you click here, it will bring you to this screen. And this is your student email. So you can see at bsdstudents.org is already typed in for you and that will stay there for you. So all you need to type in is your lunch number. Once you type in your lunch number here, you can go ahead and click next. And it will prompt you then to enter your password. So your password, if you wanna make it visible, you can click here so you can see what you're typing. And your password is the first four letters of your last name with the first letter capitalized, and then four numbers, the month and date of your birth. So capitalized letter first and the first four letters of your last name with four numbers, the month and date of your birth. So that's your password. And once you have that entered, typed in here, you can click this next button. Once you do that, you are prompted with this screen, and it is super important that you click here to log in with Google. So this logs you into Clever, which is our system that helps you to automatically log into any other thing that you might need to use for school. So it helps log you into your email and Google Classroom and Seesaw and Flipgrid and all the different ways that your teachers are asking you to learn. So on this screen, we're going to click Log In with Google. And once we do that, we have access to our Clever page. So here are all the resources that you will need during your class days. We have Google Classroom, we have your email, you even have access to your teacher pages. So you can explore here and scroll down to see lots of different features, lots of different applications and add-ons, um, all these resources that our teachers are having you use for class. Notice that you can also access Skyward through Clever. So you can click here and you can track your attendance and you can look at your grades and stay a little bit up to date on how you're doing in your classes. And that is your introduction to your Chromebook. Good luck, have fun.